Hi Curious Gang, it's your London friend Vasi, and I really hope you're hungry today because I have for you 5 cheap eats in Soho and those spots are perfect for you if you're on a budget but you also don't want to compromise on quantity or quality. All of this will be under 10 quid. Because you know, we are always on a budget on this channel. We are here with Ben today on a beautiful Sunday which means that it's going to be extremely crowded so keep this in mind. I will try to bring you to some quieter place but this might be a little bit hard. There is nothing that I love more than places that have a good story and also a great reason why they exist. Well, apart from making money obviously. And our first stop, the Cathy Row Company over there, it is exactly one of these places. It opened out of the nostalgia of a woman that moved from Kolkata, India to New York. And you might be wondering, we're in London, right? Well, the first one opened in London, then it opened three more locations in Manhattan, and its first one outside of the US, it is right behind us. It offers this Cathy Rose, and Cathy means skewers, so it is. it has a lot of meaty options that are cooked skewers in butter but of course a lot of veggie options as well. Ben how hungry are you? Uh, from 1 to 10 I would say it's a solid 10. But that's great because we have a lot to eat today. We got two rolls one with freshly beaten egg and another one with farmer's cheese and also some pickled veggies and this came down to 850. I don't know why but I imagined it very small like this small and then this thing arrives. I thought it's gonna be like taco size. Ooh! Ooh. First snip oh. inside. Yeah. Hello, hello! Yum, 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 yum. I'm gonna try to take first the classic one. This one has the egg, so this ah, one should be the classic they both have the eggs. one. Right. It looks like that. Mmm! Mm. I quite like it. Okay. It's like flat bread with an omelette inside. Okay. A little bit spicy. Ooh, it gets more spicy. It was a bit too spicy for me, but definitely super delicious. That was a big bite. So this is supposed to be like some farm Indian cheese. Let's see. Mmm! The cheese is amazing. It's a little bit like halloumi. I love this one. Uh -huh. And this might be a little bit ignorant, but I didn't know they eat cheese in India. It's so spicy. 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 Uh, it's actually great for my nose that it's running at the moment. Whoa, look at that. Literally no one in here versus a ton of people over there. There are so many little groups of students, it's, it's so cute. You know, they're all wearing the same you know, tiny backpack, you know, the same hat. You know matching color. Adorable. I really feel like London is full on with tourists. I haven't seen so many people since 2019 yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys looking for a hidden jam? So hidden that when you see this place from outside you wouldn't even consider like going in there but apparently this spot sells the noodles to 95% of the restaurants around in Chinatown and it is in this small street over there which let me tell you doesn't really smell appetizing to say, to say the least, but I, I read quite a lot about this place. No, actually I, I read very little about it, but it was so positive. That's why I'm actually willing to give it a chance. And this is the alley that you have to go into. You'll be welcomed by a very kind guy and also the prices are incredible, but we didn't realize one thing. So, yeah, I need to steam these, they're not ready to eat. I also bought this, thinking that we can eat it directly, but I'm not sure. Ah, there is, can be eaten cold or steam. But if it says it can be eaten cold, oh, we can eat it now. I think okay. we can eat it now. Okay. But both of these were only £5.50, which is quite a lot, uh, quite little. <laughs> but also it's quite funny consistency. <laughs> Oh, okay. Mm. How it is? Mm, not bad. Oh, it's quite good. Oh, it's, it's like good. Okay, it's sweet, but not like overwhelmingly sweet. Very, very rice. Though. One thing that I missed is like those type of things that you have no idea what are you getting into when you buy it. And of course, if you want to see more cool content from London, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. 
So I definitely want to get some. Uh uh uh. Kali and chili. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you want kali and chili, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Then we went to the Taiwanese place Good Fried Chicken from where Ben got chicken popcorn. So we have a second feature on this channel for Good Fried Chicken because the place that I actually wanted to take Ben was closed and I remembered about this one and so that he really liked it. 10 out of 10. And all of this that you see, a fried popcorn chicken, it is 6.50. What is your one? So they chose for me apparently. Um, so it was a chili, garlic, powder and kimchi. It's nice. Oh. This really looks deep fried. Mm -hmm. And my total, total favorite place here in Chinatown, it is Bun House. I totally love it. And every time that I pass from here, I take a bun with custard. And it is something which I definitely suggest you trying out. And you should have at least once in your life right behind me and I haven't had it in like two months or something so I really cannot wait I hope that they haven't increased the price at all. come here my baby it, it's so little so cute so fluffy and it is still warm and I something which I don't really like in other places when you take steam bun is that it's not steamed at the moment whereas here Maybe also because a lot of people are going, but they keep steaming them all the time and they're always fresh. And on the comments on my Chinatown video, some, some of you actually told me that here it is written the flavor. Because usually, because usually if you get three buns, they're 11 pounds, but they look like all the same it's from the outside. Four, four. Oh, it's four for 11. Yeah. Before it was three for 10, now it's four for 11. Yeah, exactly. That's why I thought that even if you get four, it will be in your budget, yeah. but apparently... Also, quite, well, wait, 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 warning. So there's a piece of paper at the bottom, which we have removed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we were about to eat paper Another for thing, a second time. It's also it's very runny inside. Yes, so very sure. very runny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this happened. And this is the work of art that she made. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. So sad. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying. Right. Hello, hello, guys. So as you could see, uh, I, I got some like also got some red bean buns. And on the structure it says uh, steam before eating, you know. And I was like, okay, we need to find a way to steam them because, like, you know, we, we can't really, we don't have a steamer, you know. And my girlfriend was like, yeah, we, we can boil them. Like, like it was pasta or something. Our next stop, it is called Koshari Street. And I have to be honest with you, I have never actually been there, but Time Out London describes it as mega feeling, mega tasty, and mega cheap. Which actually sounds quite promising, so we should definitely check it out. And also, I have never tried food from Egypt before, so I really hope that it's great. We got the classic kashari, which has this mix of pasta, rice, brown lentils, and on top, tomato, garlic vinegar. We got the one with chickpeas, which is actually the traditional one, and it also has fried onions. And on top, there is this thing called doa, which is basically a mix of Egyptian spices, and it has herbs, nuts, and many other spices, which honestly, I couldn't identify, but it added a lot to the taste. Why do you look like that? It's pasta. That's a new way of eating pasta. It's very and romantic. So oh, and I forgot to tell you that this one cost seven pounds, so I would say it's definitely reasonable. And in the beginning, it took me a little bit to get used to the taste, but overall, I would say that it's great. Plus, you can definitely personalize it like a cap. And these are my five suggestions for cheap eats in London. Which one was your favorite?